Howdy partners, it's your boy John here. Welcome back to The Great War, Total War. It's been a while since we last played, but anyway, welcome back. Uh, today, I'm trying to say what I need to do. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're about to have a revolt in Greece. So we can try to get that taken care of this episode. Um, exempt region from tax. Let me just take a look at what the effect that'll have. No, let's not do that. All right, we're 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 just going to keep the... Um, Taxation on for that province. I do have these troops on the way down. Okay. I, I guess there's nothing much I can do but just sit back and wait and see what happens. Let's just skip to the next turn? Sure, sure, sure. Okay, letter of demand. Saw that coming. Workers on strike. Yeah, whatever. Trait gained. Okay. Um... Am I? Let me look out real quick. How much money do we have at the moment? 427. Not anywhere near close enough to being able to repair these universities, which I need to get them repaired as soon as possible. <clears throat> Let me do that. There we go. Okay. Um, what do we have here? I want to boost... Well, that cost 8000 Never mind. We'll hold off on that for the time being. There's a lot of stuff I can't do right now that I want to do. I mean, I'm so low on money at the t for the time being that I just have to let things go. If I can get this boosted up to... Uh, if I get this repaired... That would be a big help. That would be a real big help. 656. Might be able to get that fixed by the next uh, next turn. Well, no. I'd be able to get it started repaired by the next turn. Don't think it'll be done in time to prevent the um, rebellion. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Next turn. Letter of demands. Okay. I don't think I can get, get them in, can I? No, I'm going to pull them right here. Get them as close to the city as possible. At least we have the uh, artillery back to full strength. Let's see if I can go ahead and repair this. We'll do that. That'll take one turn, so it won't be done in time to prevent a rebellion. But... It'll hopefully calm things down after we take care of the rebellion. Hopefully. Again, I don't think there's anything I could do for the time being. It's weird though because Belgrade and the Balkans, that, that's they have the highest happiness at the moment, which is completely bizarre. What is the happiness at in, in um, Istanbul? Not that great. No, that's where actually most of our money is coming from, so let's not do that. Do have some troops there to hopefully calm things down. Maybe I should get rid of um, some of these grenadiers. Well, I'm, I'm going to need all the troops I can get. Hmm. Let's still deal with the, uh, the rebels in Greece, and then we'll start getting rid of some of those grenadiers. Because I think the grenadiers are pretty expensive to maintain. So, um, let, let's just... Take care of uh, Greece first, then we'll actually get rid of those Grenadiers, because I think that will actually free up a lot of space to get more money coming in. Because really the biggest problem at the moment is, is the um, our treasury. Not, not really able to um, afford to do the things I need to do, like repairing all these damaged buildings. And let me just go ahead, I guess, skip to the next turn. I think we're going to have the Rebellion in the next one. See, it's been, yeah, it's been two turns. It should be a next turn, I think. Your All large right. empire has many regions to administer, and there is barely enough money being made. Your empire has uh, grown faster got? than your administration's ability to tax it. Militia. Make sure you tax your provinces as effectively as possible by ensuring your government buildings are upgraded. What if I do this?
Uh, let's see here. Militia. They got a bunch of militia. They got some dragoons. Light howitzers. I guess I should fight this out on the field. All the right. Group formations button. Shut up. Okay. Time to get a quick screenshot. How how is that? Oh oh, hold it. Hello. Okay. All right. So this is the formation. Um. Terrible. Are they coming to us? I believe they are. Oh. Okay. Might want to actually. Well, let, let's see what the cavalry does first. In the meantime, I'm gonna move my cavalry around to see if I could locate that artillery. I think they had. Did they have an artillery? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> um. I see dragoons. Yep, they have artillery somewhere in those woods. I think. All right. You, they can't hide artillery, can they? Oh wait, hold it. Nope, they can't. It's right there. Okay. Uh, those dragoons may be in the way, but let, let's deal with the infantry first. Those shells are getting a little too close for comfort. Do that. Get them into position. Not. Oh, there they go. Okay. Although a better place for them would probably be over here. We'll keep it the way it is for now, though. I think that's okay. Wait, where are you going? Stay in the trench. What's the point of making a trench if you don't stay in it? <laughs> sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Hold on. Pull back. Woods. Okay. Pull him back. All right, there goes the militia. Can I bring in their cavalry closer? We can get a few shots off, that would be great. There we go. Pull 
pull back again. I'm trying to pull them in closer to the trenches so I can actually have the uh, infantry that's in the trench take care of that cavalry. Um... There's that other cavalry there. Hit him! Get back there. Alright, there they go. Now deal with those howitzers. There we go, like that, okay. Oh, I forgot all about those guys. I had them running right into friendly fire. Keep on those cavalry there. If we just chase them off the field completely, don't give them time to uh, regroup. That'd be great. There we go. All right, that's a victory. We still have the bigger army we need to worry about, though. Alright, lost 38. That's not too bad. Now, should I pull the army, the entire army, out to deal with the other rebel army? Hmm. I'm really tempted to do that. I'm really tempted to do that. I don't think I can hit them this turn, can I? Um, Alright, I, I guess we'll stay in the city. It's a little more defensible, I guess. But I would really like to just get out of the city there and actually attack them head on. Um, whatever happened to the... Do I have another army that I was planning on bringing down? Oh, oh, that's right. I already got them in there. All right. Can't repair any of these yet, can I? 1646. 1764. No, I can't. All right. Let's just skip to the next turn, then. All right, here they are. Um, they got a lot of artillery. All right, I think this one has a time limit, right? Pretty sure this has a time limit.
Okay, probably the weirdest formation I've ever made. All right, so this is the front line trench. I, I have the trenches lined up into two different sections. I have the front one here, of course, where I'm hoping the enemy will throw themselves at first. Uh, then behind that, I have a secondary trench, which is basically covering the um, artillery. I have some reserves back here. I have the cavalry, and I have the general back here towards the back as well, trying to get him a little more cover. It might be a better idea, actually, to move the reserves out this way. Because the trench actually covers, I think, a little bit of a job out this way. Um, in fact, maybe I should do something like this. No, I think... I don't know. Because I want to have it to where it has like an angle of fire from uh, the trench... That one's... Uh, the trench... To the left of that one, it has kind of a fire going that way, but I want to have some fire going like straight ahead too. So, All right, what I'll do then is I'll pull a couple units to each side. I only have three reserve units. Okay, so we'll have one reserve unit to the left of the artillery, the other two to the right. I think that's the way to go about this. All right, let's go ahead, start this up. Uh, is there a time limit? Oh, there is. I have an hour. Okay. What I want to do is try to pull in the infantry, if I can. Oh, well, they've already got the artillery landing right on top of us here. And they've got a lot of artillery. They've got a lot of artillery. That is true. Um, let's hold back on the reserves. I need to find some way to bring them in to us. That's what I need to do. Let, let's try to locate the bulk of the uh, their infantry. Well, they got somebody moving out. Alright, we've got some Dragoons advancing through the woods. We'll order our Dragoons to hold that position there. And they've got them running. So by the time they get close to us, we're just going to open up on them with the trenches. Completely wipe out that cavalry. It's not a very wise use of the cavalry by, by the uh, computer here. So we're, we're catching them in that crossfire. Alright, there goes that unit there. Um, are they sending anything else through the woods? I don't think so. I would like to hit the artillery from the rear, but that's a bit risky. It's a bit risky. Oh, there we go. And they're starting to pull some of their, um, Cavalry away from the oncoming fire. Did I get some kills over here? No. Okay. Well, we've got their their artillery dialed in, I think. All right, I'm gonna do something a little bit risky, and I'm gonna pull. Put them into uh, lights, uh, lighted infantry behavior. I'm gonna advance these guys up along the road here. See if I can skirmish with uh, that cavalry. What's the time at? Burned through four minutes already. I, I like to 
and I know it's it's a bad idea, especially in a situation like this. I like to take things slow, let the enemy make the mistakes. But, like I said, it, it's not the best strategy in a timed match like this. Should I shift my focus with my artillery? All hope is lost, sir. What? This battle is almost done. Okay. Now I know they got infantry, and I'm pretty sure the infantry is hiding in the woods. Alright, hold on, we got... Get into position, we're gonna take them out there. Those are dragoons too, right? Yeah. Oh, we're not dragoons, we're reserve cavalry. So they've got a little bit of an advantage, I think. Hopefully the numbers will be enough to sway it in our favor. But that was a mistake on my part. Um, and I've got more coming in. Let's see if I can pull them in to the trenches. We found the infantry. So the the uh, their militia is hiding in the woods. We can confirm that. Now let me see if I can pull. Is that over there? Can we pull them in? Advance towards the trenches at a slower pace. Alright, they're charging us now. Is the infantry coming in too? Yes, it is. Alright. Okay. All right, there goes one more unit of cavalry. They're running that militia towards us. Should I head out back after them with the uh, our cavalry? Let let them come in closer. Oh, we've lost a couple of uh, artillery here. Already down eight minutes. I'm trying to figure out where to set these guys up. I know that the uh, they have the infantry in the woods, right? So. I have to be careful with where I'm setting up this infantry. I just want to have them fire down on their artillery. See if I can break the artillery that way. Those guys are holding position. Take a couple shots at him and then pull out. All right, get back to the trench.
Our men are running, sir. That's all right. That's all right. I think this is a good position here. Take cover in the in the brush here. Let's just form one long line there. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna charge us with some cavalry. I'd be very surprised if they didn't. Okay, they got militia coming up towards us. I think. Um. Started hitting the troops that are advancing on the trenches. Break them quick, please. Get into position. Let's give that infantry some uh, artillery support. All right, they broken. Let's start pulling more troops from the trench. I'm gonna start pulling the um, reserves up to occupy the spots that they're leaving empty. Oh, how are we doing? It's taking a little longer than I'd like it to. At least we seem to be winning this fight over here. Uh, so it might actually be worthwhile. Bringing in some more support over here. Do that. these guys to hurry up and break. Because I still have to deal with that unit there. Alright, let me um, speed up time, I guess. Let's get behind them, hit them from the rear, drive them from the field. I'm pretty sure they have some more infantry in these woodlands here. Hold on. What is that? Okay. Uh, Pull back.
All right, there's some more infantry right there. Okay. You deal with them. You deal with them. And I might be getting reckless here, but I'm noticing the time is starting to slip away from me, so I need to push through these woods here. So I'm going to pull more troops from the trench. Let's do this. That's just sloppy. Get out of the way. You're getting some friendly fire that way there. Let's close the ground there. Deal with them. Uh, losing, losing slightly. So they committed the bulk of their troops right there. Take care of those dragoons. Get rid of them. Now turn your focus back to what you're actually supposed to be doing here. Alright, there we go. How are things going over here? They're pulling most of their troops to, um, to that side of the field. Which makes me really tempted to just push through the woods onto the artillery. Alright, let's have these guys rush to their aid. I think we have the upper hand when it comes to close combat. Because I think what we have here is regular infantry. They're just sending militia up against us. All right, let's... Got some dragoons coming back. Get into position. Are they gone? Shattered. All right, let, let's get back up here. We got some more cavalry advancing down the hill at us. What time are we at? Hurry up and break them.
There they go. All right. Now we can finally advance on that artillery. We got over there. All right, your job is to deal with them. Your job is to deal with them, and I should probably tell the artillery to hold their fire. This has turned out to be a costly battle. But... I think... I've got it won, I think. Alright. Screenshot! Alright. Although it's still saying that I'm losing? The balance of power is still heavily in their favor. Which makes no sense to me, but whatever. So everybody deal with them. Um... Are they starting to retreat? Shattered, shattered, broken. There we go. All right, uh, should I have continued? Okay, uh, yeah, 729, 197. I think we got rid of them all. Okay. You oh, no. Nope. recruited so many units, your treasury is buckling yeah, thank under you. the weight of it. Thank you very much, okay. Can we chase them down and kill the rest of them? Yeah. There we go. That's one problem dealt with. Back to the city. And happiness is taken care of? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, I don't know if I would call that happiness. We've got the rebels dealt with. Excellent. All right. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and call out the episode here, partners. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to click like and subscribe. Much appreciated. It really helps me out. Don't forget down below if you're interested in donating to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. I have a link down in the description to their donation site. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you, partners, next time. Bye-bye!